In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your workflow when editing multi-source video using AI. I usually make videos about AI, and this does touch AI. I am using AI editing, so I think this counts. And this is a follow-up to my previous video where I showed you how to set up source record on OBS so you could record from two sources. In my case, the camera and my computer screen. The beauty of using source record with OBS is after you finish recording, you come up with two full resolution videos. And what I do with that is I then take those videos and I edit them in Adobe Premiere. But what happens in my case is I have a really long video from two sources. I go through the whole video trying to get the best takes and this process could be better, could be easier. So I looked for AI tools and I found two, Descript and Gleam AI. I'm not being paid by either of them. But basically, these tools help you edit your video much faster by looking at your whole video, finding the best takes, cutting out filler words, cutting out pauses, and then you can then export them to any of your editing software. And this is awesome. This really helped my workflow. But what I found was even though these platforms may support multi-source video, in my case, it didn't work. And what happened was I would export the much shorter video that was edited from AI, but I want to import it to Premiere Pro. And the issue was it would only import one track. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Gling AI. And I'm guessing this will also work with Descript to edit one of your sources, import it to Premiere Pro, and then apply the same edits to your other video. So just really briefly, I want to show you what my process was before and how it got better. So here is my Premiere Pro. This is from my previous video that I did on MCP memory. And as you see here, I have two sources. I have my talking head source and I have my screen record. What happens is until now, the way I would edit it before I used AI was I would just go to the text panel. I would select filter. I select pauses, for example. I would press delete all. And then you, as you see here, my video is dramatically shorter. But the problem here is that I still have to go through it one at a time. And then editing via text here is possible, but it's not good enough. I think it could still be a bit better. So let me show you Gling AI. Okay, so this is Gling AI. You can see I've been editing my videos here for a while now. And by the way, this doesn't completely finish the video. Like Gling AI does a lot of the work, but I still like to edit it in Premiere Pro for final touches. There's a lot of things I do after the fact. So you can drag and drop your videos into here. Technically, as you see here, it supports multi-cam videos, but it doesn't support exporting those edits to Premiere Pro. So that's why I'm making this video. So let's just open up my previous MCP video. And this is what I like about it. As you see here, you see your transfer big. So now you see I'm clicking and it's going line by line. It's really cool. You see a timeline down below. And let's say I don't like this line. I just go like this, select it, press delete. Now it's edited that line out. Now I don't want to undo that. But anyway, so that's how you edit here. They have some cool tools. You can add captions, it adds jump cut zoom. I like to do that in my own editing tool. It can add B-roll, it can remove audio noise, it has speech enhancement. So a lot of cool features here and I don't use most of them. In this case, I've already edited my video. So the problem arises when you press export. So here's Premiere Pro, it's only one option. But when you look at Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, we see two options, the regular and then multi-cam. And just so you know, if you export it right now via the Premiere button, it will only give you a single track. So that's the issue and that's what we're trying to solve. The way I solve this is that both videos, your screen record and your talking head have the same exact timestamps. So technically the export here should be able to apply to both videos. So right now we're only gonna export it for the talking head video, but we're gonna apply it to the screen record video. So I'll show you what to do. So you press export. Now let's go back to Premiere. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna import the exported XML file from Gling AI. So you press here and here's the export. You see the XML file, so I'm gonna import it. And the import brought us two files. It brought us this clip item dash zero and the sequence one. So just so you know, the clip item dash zero is pretty much the original source video. So that's just the talking head video. And the sequence is the new sequence that was edited via Gling. So if you see here, it already has the edits in here. It's gonna be the same same length. So what I do is I take the clip item zero and I rename it. Let's just call it talking head. I take the sequence one and I rename it talking head one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now what I do is I import the same file. We could call this now, let's just rename this one screen record. Let's change the sequence one also. Okay, so now we have four files, right? We have the talking heads and the screen record. And right now, they're the same exact thing. This is the source 
for the talking head and this is still the talking head. So this is the trick. So what you do is you take the new file that you imported, the second one, and you go, you right click and you go to replace footage and you aim it to the screen record. And now, as you see, it changed the talking head video to the screen record, but the cuts are in the exact same place. So if you see here, it's just the screen record. Okay, so now what I do is I go to the talking head sequence, which we named as talking head one. And what we're gonna do is first of all, we're gonna add a new track. And all we wanna add is a video track. Then we take video track one, which is the talking head, and we move it to video track two. Then we go back to the screen record one. Let us take only the video, copy it, go back to the talking head one, paste it, and voila, we now have the same edit, the same exact place. So the bottom line is, is you, you do your full Gling edit you export it as XML, you save it, then you import your XML file twice. You rename it just so you don't get confused, and then you replace the footage with the screen recorder, your second source. Put them on the same timeline, and you're able to sync up your edits from both sources in one place. It saves a lot of time, it saved me a lot of time. I have to assume that Gling will add this functionality later on. I haven't used Descript, but I'm assuming they probably have the same issue or the same thing, so this method will also work there, I'm assuming. Let me know. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it made sense. If you haven't done it so far, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.